I've been working in the flight simulation industry for over 30 years. This is by far the most realistic simulator that I've ever seen. This program is the HC-144 Operational Flight Trainer for the U.S. Coast Guard. The HC-144 is a EADS CASA CN-235 aircraft, twin-engine turboprop. And the Coast Guard only has 20 of these aircraft. Right now they're using five aircraft for training. Taking a quarter of your fleet for training is a real problem. For any student who is going through training on this aircraft, they have to go through 21 flights. They are going to spend 18 of those flights in the simulator and only have three flights in the aircraft, a daytime, a nighttime, and a mission flight. The Coast Guard provided an aircraft, maintenance crew, and pilots, and we instrumented the aircraft and flew 81 hours of flights so that we could collect that data and de develop our aero model to meet the, uh, the level D requirements of the simulator. Aero simulation and flight safety chose the Christie Matrix STEMWQ for a multitude of reasons. One of the reasons was the life cycle of the projector. 50,000 hours until you have to change a bulb is an incredible length of time. We had a requirement to meet five foot lamberts of brightness out of this product, and we actually were receiving closer to 10 foot lamberts, far exceeding what we were using with our projectors in the past. The Coast Guard uses night vision goggles primarily when they're out searching over the water for people in distress, gun runners, during the dark of night. We don't have to dumb down the out the window picture to make the IR look good. Typically, aligning nine projectors as we have on this simulator takes an awful long time. With Christie AutoCal, we can align all nine projectors in 38 minutes. This simulator has an incredible field of view. It's 290 degrees by 60. The pilot, quite often during engine starts and even when they're flying, need to look back and see the propellers, see the wings, especially during icing conditions, and, and see that icing buildup on the wings and know that their anti-icing is taking care of the problem. Having nine projectors, each with four million pixels, gives this thing 36 million pixels of resolution, which is incredible on any simulator. The realism of the feel, of the motion, of how it flies, and the realism of out the window. What you see looks exactly like what you would see in the real world, where you're taking off from San Diego, like we did today, or any other place in the world. We have the capability of providing a realistic environment with rain, thunderstorms, uh, other aircraft on the ground, taxiing. We have the capability of putting ships out in the sea. And the reason for enhancing the realism is to get the pilot to forget that he's actually in a simulator and to make him think that he's in an aircraft. Then he will react as if he was in the aircraft. And if there were an emergency, as if he had to save his life by whatever his actions were. All this enhanced realism, although it costs a lot of money, this simulator is $25 million, provides training that the pilots can't get. We can do things to them in the simulator that they hope they never have happen to them in a 20 or 30 year career. This device is gonna provide the Coast Guard with a realism that has never been seen before. And the Coast Guard is going to use it to train their pilots who are responsible for saving lives and for protecting our shores.